Amen. Praise God. Welcome to All for Jesus Church. Hallelujah. We are now on our Friday worship service. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Let's begin worshiping our Lord by singing How Great Thou Art. Amen.
you're going to do in their lives today. Show them, Lord, that you are God who is not far away from the outcry of your people, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for we know, Lord, that you're going to do great things today in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for the praises and the worship that you're going to hear today, Lord. Let it be, Lord God, that your name will be lifted up and as we lift your name up, Lord, let all the world. Amen. Let's start with Sister Arlene Tarampi from Philippines. Praise God. Hallelujah. She arrived in UA in, in United Arab Emirates. Amen. Hallelujah. Safely. I mean, I mean the son, the son of Sister Arlene Tarampi. Pra praise God. Both of them. Amen. And the second uh, testimony we have is from Brother Samson Agassin in the Philippines. Thank God that all the blood works, hallelujah, uh, she, he received the result, all his blood works are perfectly normal, amen. Thank you, Lord, amen. for sustaining his body, amen. And as well, the same thing with uh, Brother Jesse Roma Santa here, uh, here in the United States, California. Thank God that all his blood works, blood results are perfectly normal. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We give God Amen. glory. Amen. He alone is our the source of our strength. He is our God who deserves all the glory. Amen. Amen. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. We are gathered here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise 
His name is Jesus. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. Glory to your name. Praise God. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Good morning, and brother, sister in Christ. Hallelujah. Let's open our Bible in Malachi 3.10. <clears throat> Bring the 
full tent into the storehouse so that there will be food in my house. Test me in this way, says the Lord of hosts. See if I will not open the blood gates of heaven and pour out blessing for you without measures. Amen. Hallelujah. Glorify your name. Let's bow our head. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the power of thy Holy Spirit, we thank thee for this day. Thank you, Lord God, for the whole week again that you've been uh, taking care of us, protect us, and blessing upon us, Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord, right now, Lord God, we pray our tithes and offering, Father. Release in the name of Jesus Christ of the power of thy Holy Spirit. Release your supernatural increase Amen. and provision in our lives, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. As well, our brother and sister in Christ in Facebook and YouTube, Lord, bless them too, Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord, thank you, Lord God, and we entrust again to you, Lord, the whole week, this coming week, that you're going to protect us, Amen. that you're going to bless us. Yes, Lord. And healing us physically mentally spiritually financially lord god amen. and thank you for all the blessing thank you lord god for your favor and provision in our lives lord yes, jesus lord. and bring back the glory and orange is mighty name amen amen, amen. praise the lord hallelujah truly that god blesses his children amen hallelujah he bless us so we can also bless other people and we can also give up uh, give our tithes to our god amen hallelujah if you want to give your tithes and your offering and donation to all for jesus church hallelujah please go to www.allforjesuschurch.com www.allforjesuschurch.com here in this church we believe that your tithes belong to your local church but if you consider all for jesus church as your home Please go to the website. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let's call now the man of God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Pastor Isaiah Sunkuan Jr. Praise God. Glory to God. Good morning, everyone. And we welcome you all here in All for Jesus Church on our Friday worship service. Our topic for today is found in the book of First John chapter 3, verse 17. But before that, let us pray, Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today, Lord. And we thank the Father for this day that you have made, Lord. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your mercy, your loving kindness towards us, Lord. And we thank you, Father, for all the blessings that you have bestowed upon us for the whole week again. We thank you, Father, for the protection and guidance that you have given unto us, Lord. And thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for his blood that forgives our sins, that uh, without his blood, there's no remission of sins. We thank you, Father, for this day. And hide me behind your back to proclaim your words and proclaim the victory that you have given unto us. Bless each and every one of us, Lord, and cover us with your most precious blood. Let your Holy Spirit be upon us and let your name be glorified in this place. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Like I said, our topic for today is found in the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 17. If anyone has material possessions and sees his brother in need, but has no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? God wrote, John wrote this that a failure to care for the poor may be a sign of hardened and callous heart. This verse refers to the necessities of life. Seeing a Christian in need of necessities of life over a long period of time, the individual 
who has the means to truly help but refuses to do so. His actions proclaim the fact that despite his profession, there is actually no love for of God in him. Amen. Indeed, those of us who follow Christ face high expectations in ministering the poor. Jesus teaches that caring for the poor is the same as caring for God Himself. Amen. Amen. In Matthew 25, verse 31 to 40, while neglecting the poor is an offensive to God. Matthew 25, verse 41 to 46, and in Proverbs 14, verse 31, whoever oppresses the poor shows contempt for her for their maker. But whoever is kind to the needy honors God. Most of the world oppress the poor. And because of that, Dios did his honor God. God made all men, whether they were rich or poor. The Holy Spirit plainly and clearly tells us that if we honor God, we will have mercy on the poor also in Proverbs 19 verse 17, He who is kind to the poor lends to the Lord and He will reward him for what He has done. In this verse, God guarantees the gift. That's our reward or the debt. Even true Christians have consistently ministered to the poor. Such ministry can be a challenging task. Since the measurement of poverty is relative and causes are diversified and different. Even in this scripture, the discussion of poverty is puzzling and misleading at points. For instance, for instance, God is stated, ideal is clearly that there will be no poor among you in Deuteronomy 15. Verse 14, later 8. This verse tells us that the Lord wants to bless His people at all. Amen. Poverty will be erased. And if His people will totally and completely follow Him, rendering obedience will be erased. Poverty will be erased because it is the will of the Lord. This verse says so. In Deuteronomy 15 verse 11, there is always, there is always before people in the land. Therefore, I command you to be open-handed toward your, towards your brothers and toward the poor and needy in, in your land. Despite the promises of, the, of God, still, there will always be poor people, amen, because some regrettably, will not will not properly heed and follow God. A stewardship and economics takes into account scripture's view of wealth and poverty. Fundamentally, the Bible does not I repeat it again. Fundamentally, the Bible does not say it is basically evil to be wealthy. And it is essentially righteous to the poor. The Bible did not tell that. Amen. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Yes. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 10. A person can have great riches and be a great holy person if he does not love his money. Amen. Abraham for example. He was very wealthy. Genesis 13 verse 2. Nevertheless, we learn from him how to live by faith. Hebrews 11 verse 8 to 19. Likewise, poor people can be great sinners. Amen. Judas was a disciple of Jesus and suffered poverty, at least on occasion. But he loved money and betrayed Jesus for a few silver in Matthew 26 verse 14 to 16 John 12 verse 1 to 8 
regardless of the standard of wealth and poverty. God does have a special concern for the poor. In Luke 6 verse 20, later A, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor. Indeed, Jesus did something even greater for the poor. He sacrificed his life on the cross so that both rich and the poor could be forgiven and be saved and enter the kingdom of God. This gets to the heart of God's compassion for the poor. Poverty and hunger are problems that should should be erased and liberated on earth while while the ultimate solution is the full understanding and realization of the kingdom of God. Luke 6 verse 20 to 22. The New Testament has much to say about poverty, its causes and the principles underlying its solution. Jesus Christ incarnated the love of God through personal ministry, which include proclaiming good news to the poor. Luke 4 verse 17 to 18, Apostle Paul coordinated the relief mission for the poor while preaching the gospel. He reported that remembering the poor was very thing I was eager to do in Galatians 2 verse 10 because the gospel provides solutions that addresses the underlying causes of poverty. First, we want to start with what the Bible says about people who have money. The Bible uses both wealth and riches when describing such people. True wealth and riches are often used correspondingly. There is an intellectual, logical distinction based on heart attitudes and the means of gaining and obtaining. In the New Testament, riches were associated with flamboyant and flashy display of gold and fine clothes, excessive feeding, self-gratification, in Luke 19 verse 16 to 20, and generousness and greediness towards the poor. Luke 16 verse 19 to 31, fraud, fraud against workers, James 5 verse 4, and wandering away from the faith, 1 Timothy verse 6, chapter 6 verse 9 to 10. The, with this in mind or in thought, the Bible appropriately condemns rich people with self-indulgent heart attitudes. People who only seek pleasures into their lives, self-centered and self-gratification. What are the causes of poverty? Concentrating and piling up riches is one of the causes of poverty. In Ecclesiastes chapter 2 verse 26, I am reading in ESB, For the one who pleases him, God has given wisdom and knowledge and joy. Amen. But to the sinner, he has given the business of gathering and collecting. Only to give to the one who pleases God. Amen. Business of gathering and collecting was this mean this is the sinner's regular occupation and profession amen to gather and collect and give it to the one who places god this is this is his job and duty in proverbs 13 verse 22 but the, the sinner's wealth is stored up for the righteous amen. not knowing he is piling up wealth not for his own, amen, but to the one who places God. The roots of poverty fall into three general categories. The first category of causes of poverty is personal sin. The scripture often mentions moral failures that lead to poverty. The scripture usually mentions moral failures or an act of or thought that you shouldn't do because it's simple but you still do 
the Bible also warns us about poverty as a result of laziness, idleness. Proverbs 6 verse 6 to 11, Proverbs 10 verse 4, Proverbs 19 verse 15, and 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14. Likewise, Proverbs warns about the effects of a poor work ethic. In Proverbs 14 verse 22, all hard works brings a profit, but a mere talk, you poor daldalang, leads only to poverty. There are many who talk too much, but do nothing. Those who truly labor and work hard will know they will profit. And Apostle Paul teaches us that those who will not work should not be covered and protected from the effects of their sin. Namely, they should not be allowed to eat. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 10, the scripture cites other moral failures as cause for poverty, including lack of discipline, stubbornness, drunkenness, and gluttony or voraciousness. Katakawan, amen. Proverbs 22, verse 21, for drunkards and gluttons become poor, and drowsiness clothes them in rags. Jesus called out, called out the scenes in his parable of the prodigal son, describing how the wayward younger brother made his way into poverty in Luke 15, verses 11 to 16. Poverty can sprout who's born from other personal sin, including greed, expensive taste, maluho, dis dishonesty, worthless, and an important pursuit. In Proverbs 21, verse 17, he who loves pleasure will become poor, yes. and whoever loves wine and oil will never be rich. See also Proverbs 28, verse 19, and in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 9. People who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap, and into many foolish and harmful desire that plants men into ruin and destruction. This verse refers to the destruction and ruin of the mind and body, but more particularly, to the awful sin of the eternal soul. Natural evil is the second category of causes of poverty. Simply define natural evil consists of things such as natural disasters, tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, droughts, and diseases, genetic defects, injuries, and the death of family provider. The third category of causes of poverty is oppression. Oppression by others. This type of poverty can be prevented. Those in scripture frequently warns against oppressing others. This include common theft, Psalms 12 verse 5, delayed wages, 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 18. Isang buwan na, wala pang sahod. Walang magamit ang pamilya. Amen. Based bias justice system. Leviticus 19 verse 15. And excessive and outrageous interest rates on loans to the needy. Many of these types of oppressions are systematic and institutionalized. Those they tend to affect larger groups of people than do individual sin. Perhaps... This is why the Lord promises to defend those who fall prey to this type of oppression and exhort us to do the same. In Psalms 4, 1, 46, verse 9, and Isaiah 1, verse 17. So, if we want to minister to the poor, understanding the root cause of poverty will help you Pray for the men and minister to them more effectively. To God be the glory. Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for this basis for today, Lord. Help us, Lord, to locate the uh, 
who are in need, who are the uh, people who are in need, Lord. And uh, we're ready to help them, Lord, and give them the necessities of their lives also, Lord. Bless each and every one of us, Lord, to, to help others, people too. We thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Truly that the, the, the blessing of the Lord is for His children. Amen. And yet, we have to be watchful as well. What is our motives? What is in the, inside our hearts? Amen. And God blesses us so that we can be a blessing to other people as well. Amen. Amen. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please follow this prayer with all your heart. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm asking you, Lord, to forgive me for all my sins. Lord God, I am a sinner, and I'm asking you to forgive me. Cleanse me with your most precious blood, Jesus. I believe, Jesus, that you are the only Son of God, sent here to die for all the sinners, to, for a sinner just like me, and rose again on the third day, and now sitting at the right throne of God. I believe in you, Jesus. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come reign in my heart, in my life. You are my master. Take over of my life. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day you have given to me. For I have now an eternal life. And my name is written in the book of life. Thank you, Lord, for this new beginning. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. May I now call my, uh, the praise and worship team. Praise God. And we're going to sing now our victory song. Hallelujah. It's in the Filipino song. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is our peace. Amen. And He is our joy. Praise God.
May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you a spirit of unity among yourselves as you follow Christ Jesus so that with one heart and mouth you may glorify the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. God bless.